Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about my Ishakti dress. To some of you, if you follow Miss Rebecca, this dress will look familiar. She also bought it. Uh, unfortunately, I bought it before I saw her video where she had the discount code or I could have gotten it cheaper, but that's okay. So this dress is cotton poplin. It's this beautiful, absolutely beautiful plaid. It's very hard to see on camera. They called this color coral. It's really what I would call salmon. It's more in that pink family and then red and black and white. And it's just absolutely lovely. It's very light. It has an underlining. Let me, let me step back so you guys can see. It has a complete underlining. And then I'm, I'm also wearing my petty pants underneath of it. So I'm gonna put a link to this dress because this was actually on sale. I think it was 49 and then with the taxes and shipping and then I changed, you know, uh, I opted for the cap sleeve, I opted for the knee length, I did keep the shawl collar. It all came to about some odd amount, like $62, but it's a great dress and it's very comfortable and it fits so well. This is the first thing I've ever bought from the Shakti and I, I am like not disappointed at all. So let me show you how I'm styling it. Please ignore my hair. It's very humid in New Jersey. So I'm styling it with my celluloid set, my little rose brooch, the rose earrings, and these lovely bangles that I got from Redbird Vintage. I'm also styling it with this fabulous purse that I don't know if you guys remember this purse. I got this in a Goodwill haul, it was $4.99. So I'm styling it with this purse, this straw purse. I think it looks great together, I really like them. And then for shoes, I'm gonna go with a really classic espadrille. I got these from Amazon. The name of the company is Dream Paris. Sorry, there we go, Dream Paris. I'll, tr I'll try and put the link if I can find these because I bought these back in the spring. They were really inexpensive. They were like $32. But these are great if you're looking for a casual summer shoe and you want to do a vintage vibe. Espadrilles, were worn. You can find pictures of women on Pinterest wearing espadrilles in the 20s. So um, yeah, espadrilles are a really classic piece. They make them in all different styles. You can get them in a higher heel length. I got this because I knew I would probably be walking in this. It's These are also, if you look at the 1940s, you'll see a lot of wedge espadrilles, like kind of similar to the shoe, well into the 50s. So they're great. I mean, if you want to spend a little more money on something, this is a great investment. So Here's my Ishakti dress. The only other thing I wanted to talk about today, I guess we're gonna do a standing video, is um, this, this fits so well, doesn't it? I just am loving this because I have a tiny waist still. I just have really massive hips, right? Um, and I don't have too much of a tummy, a little bit, but anyway, I digress. Um, what was I gonna talk about? I was gonna talk about, I am working on trying to learn how to do better filming because my filming is crap and I, I just, I try to watch these videos on YouTube and I just can't grasp it. I end up uh, like erasing my entire, you know, uh, video from my phone when I'm trying to edit on YouTube. I'm just not good at it. So anybody who watches my channel, Catherine Young, um, I don't know if Christina um, from The Air Effect watches my channel, but if you do, please hit me up. I could really use some pointers because my goal for August is to start doing cooking videos on Patreon. For those of you that didn't know, before having cancer, I had been a chef for a very long time. Uh, one of the reasons I'm not anymore is because I have bone cancer and I can't do the heavy lifting and standing involved in being a chef, but I still cook. I still cook every day for myself. I taught people how to cook. I can still pe teach people how to cook. So I'd like to start doing videos and I'd like to start a Patreon channel where I do videos about cooking, but more specifically cooking from scratch, vintage recipes, and things that people really are forgetting to do at this point in time. I'm not going to concentrate on bread baking and the really high-end skills. I want to teach people how to like come home from work and cook dinner in a half an hour, maybe an hour, and have it on the table. And good food. Good food, not junky stuff, not pre-prepared, not processed. So if you are good at filming, if you're good at editing on YouTube, I do use my phone. It's a Galaxy. Please hit me up. I'd love some advice. And until the next video, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.